my name is Alison and as requested I'm going to give you insight into printmaking processes. For this tutorial I'll show you how to create a lino print. Firstly, I print out my design and trace the image. I'll not go into too much detail here about creating your own design. However, what I found to be a good project for beginners is to create a themed alphabet illustration. For this example, I chose the letter A and associated with an abacet. This is a type of water bird found alongside English posts. Once we have traced the image, we are now ready to transfer it onto the lino. Put the drawn image face down onto the lino and apply pressure to transfer the image. So you'll see here how the image is transferred clearly onto the lino. One thing to bear in mind is if your text is reversed, this will uh, print correctly when we are applying that onto paper. Okay, so now we're ready to carve our lino. Uh, I'll give a description of the materials that you can use. I'll keep a link down below so that you can access that. What I've used here is I've used a narrow carving tool and gone round the edges first. And then you can build that up by going into the larger areas with a larger tool. So I've worked with various types of linos and this is definitely a good one for beginners. I'll send the link of this particular lino that I'm using in the description below. It's a soft material so it is easy to carve into whereas others that I've worked into you need to apply a bit more pressure. And I found this lino prints really well onto paper as well. So now we're at my favourite part which is the printing stage. So for this you want uh, a smooth surface, this is so that you can roll the print and ink onto. Now you're wanting to get an even coat in here, so roll this out completely. And then I would apply this onto your lino cut. Now you want to make sure that you've got an even coat in here and that you've filled your entire cup. Once you've done that, we're then going to get a clean piece of paper and just place that on top of the lino cut carefully. And you want to apply a wee bit pressure here so that the ink transfers completely onto your paper. And as you can see, we now have our lino print. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and thanks for watching, hope to see you soon.